Hey guys, this is Martin Gonzalez from OK Good Night, and I'm gonna do a production rundown of our song Awake. The reason why I wanna make this video is because I wanna show you guys what it's like to make an OK Good Night song from scratch. What does it sound like in the demo version when we're all working on it? Um, what does it sound like in the final version that you guys can hear in every streaming platform? So without further ado, first I'm gonna play the final version, and then I'm gonna play the demo for you to hear the comparison. Here we go. This is the final version. Look inside the darkness, my tears collide. Sinking into the shrine of me. I'm ready to be set free. I'm sick as the dying. This is the demo version. The demo version uh, has the final vocals processed by Mike, so bear that in mind. So as you can see, it is pretty, pretty different. The uh, difference is huge. But in the demo version, you still hear all of the elements that end up being in the final one. Uh, so to start with, I want to talk about the drums. I programmed drums with this uh, sample library called Get Good Drums. Uh, shout out to them. They're really good. And I used the first library that they come up with the Matt Halpern one. The reason why I use this one is because, well, it sounds sick, I think, and it also was really accessible for all of us to interchange files. Uh, the good thing about programming drums is that it allows you to create an entire song and, and figure out what you want to do in the studio as well as something really realistic. So I did this at first and then Augusto got with me and he programmed his own drum fills that he wanted to do and every single thing that was really specific even before the recording. Uh, so that's a really good thing to do. And one thing that I want to show you guys to exemplify this is this fill that he does in the chorus with the bass player. Uh, we thought about this even before going to the studio and it ended up sounding really good. This one right here. I want to play it. This one. And in the real version, it ended up something like this. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that I want to highlight is um, the recording of the drums went beautifully and I just want to compare how programmed drums, which are still I think that are amazing, sound in comparison to what real drums sounds like. So here are the demo drums by themselves. Let me just mute them really quick. Ah, solo them, sorry. This is what it sounds like. So that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Um, they also have really minimal processing due to, well, we all in the band and shared the same kind of plugins and all of that. So we, uh, we were kind of not stuck, but we only shared like really the plugins that we knew that we, uh, that we had. And this is how uh, the real drums sound like in that same part. Here we go. So there's a huge difference in sound. I obviously like more the, the sound of realistic drums rather than the program ones, but the program ones are definitely a path to take composition-wise, compositionally-wise, and also uh, in a very creative way. Uh, moving on, something that I'm really proud of this track is that um, we recorded most of the synths and pads with analog gear. 
it is yeah I, I i doubt we use some media on this but martin de lima got together with me and we recorded this beautiful mug that he has and also he has a prophet which is a really cool piece of gear and this entire intro is just amazing i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna make sure that i'm playing the demo version not the final one uh so that i can solo every stem so here we go All these like blocky robotic things were also done uh, in the mug that was analog and they sound sick I think. So just things like that, um, for example, another cool thing here is that this riser, this one that says KC shop right here, which is the one that goes before uh, the drums enter with the piano and the bass and all of that in the intro of the song. This one was actually a combination of a lot of uh, Casey's chops all together. They really didn't make any sense whatsoever. But I combined them and then I put some in reverse and some others just like natural and I added a, a bunch of effects. Um, and at last I think I kind of added a tremolo and a tap delay which is, you know, it's like, I'd say like basic sound design but it ended up something like this. And in context it sounds like this. So yeah, um, in this track we're featuring Peter the Rain on bass, uh, we basically just talk through email and he sent the sickest bass stem I've ever heard. Uh, I don't think we honestly did too much to it, we kind of just compressed it a little bit and he sent it with, already with a distortion pedal, and, but uh, it's like a really, a really good usage of it and it sounds like this. So honestly, not too much to do to it, just a really good performance, really tight, really nice. Um, now going on with guitars, my guitars were recorded with an Axe 8, uh, I used the Friedman B uh, amp simulator and also uh, like one of the B30s uh, cabinets, IRs that came with it. Um, it's really, really straightforward and not too much gain, uh, I like stuff to be aggressive but also really organic sounding. Uh, when I do my takes I like to record them straight up, not too much punching. Uh, it doesn't matter how many times I have to record it until I get it right. I like when stuff sounds rather natural uh, rather than really perfect. Uh, this like audio that is cut here is because uh, there was like a little bit of uh, you know like noise from the gate that didn't close perfectly so I just wanted this part to be really tight. It sounds like this. And the rest of the stems are, uh, the rest, well, the same stems are just something like this. And in context, context. <laughs> So as you can see, it's like the best I could uh, play and record these parts. 
is obviously not 100% perfect, but that's exactly what I like about it. It sounds human, it sounds natural, and it doesn't sound like it was made by, you know, coding on a computer. Um, which is something I think like metal bands are doing right now, and I really want to get far away from that. I like stuff to be n nice sounding and really tight, yet not really like perfect, perfect, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, what else? Something I really like to do with my solos, and is something uh, I got out from guitarists like Pliny or Steve Vai, is that I like to highlight some of the motifs with synths. Uh, these scenes were done by me and they sound like this. Uh, this is the solo part by the way, I'm gonna solo this. <laughs> so they sound kind of funny by themselves, uh, but hopefully in context they make any sense. They sound like this. So yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like in this, and this is what it sounds like in the final version. So yeah, those are like little details that are uh, in the song that I really think that they are very important and they make the difference. Um, talking now about Casey's vocals, she recorded that at her place uh, with a, a really good microphone that she has and with really cool gear. And what we do is she records like the lead, uh, like the lead vocal, right? And underneath she records a double to thicken out her voice, and it ended up sounding really nice. Uh, then we bring out Elizabeth to do backing vocals for this, and when they were all combined, it, it just sounds sick. Um, there is this part in the breakdown that we put like a vocal synth. Let me let me look for it really quick. This is the breakdown. Yes. Uh, so here we go. This is the breakdown part. Let me check that I have everything correct. Yeah, demo. Okay, this is the breakdown. <laughs> So this part again. So these are the solo vocals. Here's the vocal synth. What you're hearing right now is Elizabeth and Casey singing at the same time with a lot of processing. And these are only the harmonies. So <laughs> that's like little um, vocal production that we do, and we tend to we tend to be really simplistic in that way. But when we need it, we go extra. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's. That's pretty much like all those little details are and all those little things that I wanted to highlight in this song. Obviously, uh, what you were hearing most of the time was the demo version. Uh, this song was produced by me um, and with the help of everybody in the band, of course. Uh, so if you ever need like any production uh, hints or any production services, don't doubt to contact me or contact anybody else in the band because they all are amazing. And yeah. Just to close on with this video, I'm gonna play the final version, the same part, 
and, and you'll hear the difference. Take care, have fun, uh, enjoy the album, share it, and peace.